in comments, he said, the virus is adapting. So what is British Columbia doing as a province to adapt to the virus? Will there be further restrictions in place? Could schools be closed? Are there measures that will be taken uh, by yourself and other health officials to adapt to the virus? Yeah, so what we are learning as well, and this is how we adapt, um, you know, we're learning that, yes, some things transmit more easily, but the same measures that we take make a difference in preventing that transmission. And we have the measures in place that we know will work. We have restrictions on size of gatherings that you can have. We've um, talked about the importance of if you do want to get together with people, we I mean, I recognize we need those social connections after this period of time. We need to do it outside. We need to keep our distance. We need to keep safe. So those things are still the same, and we need to make sure that we're following them. I think we had some complacency. We have some sense of, of we can get through this and that it doesn't really affect young people. But we see as more younger people, uh, we've changed the epidemiology by protecting um, people who are most at risk of having severe illness. But when we have lots of cases in young people, a percentage of them will end up in hospital, will end up in ICU. And that's what we can all prevent by taking the very simple measures that we all know by now and that we're sick of, but work. And in terms of schools, of course, we've talked about that. We've been in touch uh, with our um, counterparts in the Ministry of Education, with the superintendents, with the school districts and principals and teachers. And you know what we have also learned is that we see cases go up when children are not in school. And that is often because they have other uh, unstructured time and that children need school.